Hey everyone, it's Zach. Welcome back to another PHP tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be going over assignment operators. So let's get into it. So assignment operators are essentially, um, they would come in handy if you created a variable and you wanted that variable to be static, but at some point you wanted to change the variable further on in your code. Um, so let's uh, open and close our PHP tags. So we're gonna create num, uh, we'll just say number equals 10. And what we're gonna do, so let's say we're coding and you know if we echo number, we're gonna get 10 of course. Now if we were to, now let's say further down in the code we wanted to add, uh, we'll say five to that. So what we would do is we would say number plus equals five, echo number. Save that, refresh, and we get 15. We can also do this with minus times and divided. Okay, let's look at another example. So let's say you wanted to create a website where you have to be at least 18 to join. So maybe like a vape website or a different kind of website. Um, so you wanna set the variable uh, as a static, like just 18, like you have to be at least 18. So what we could do here is we could say age equals 18 and we'll say uh, name equals Zach and we will do intro equals hello comma space concatenate name concatenate you must be at least space concatenate age concatenate space to enter the site. So we could refresh this. Helps if you echo that out. Hello, Zach, you must be at least 18 to enter the site. So now what we could do is we could say age equals, excuse me, age plus 10, because I'm 28. So uh, 10 plus 18 is 28, of course. Uh, age plus 10, uh, plus equals 10, excuse me. And then we could echo a line break and we could say your and then concatenate age so we could refresh that so because of the placement of the code because remember PHP runs line by line so because um, we're getting two different uh, two different pieces of information for age because of the placement of the code so at this point, um, we haven't uh, assigned the plus 10 to the age. So it's running line by line. So it's starting with, okay, uh, name is Zach. The first variable is Zach. The second piece of information is age. Third, so when it gets to this part of the code, it doesn't have the plus 10 information yet. So that's how we're able to echo out two different pieces of information with the same variable. So um, that, that's a basic introduction. Uh, if you have any comments, uh, questions, anything like that, leave them, uh, leave them in the comment section below and I'd be happy to answer any questions. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next tutorial.